What up, folks? All right, I have some good news and some bad news. Bad news is my team lost to SneakerCon. Good news is, well, there is no good news because my team lost to SneakerCon. What up, guys? Jacques Slade, and welcome to Today in Sneaks. Today has been kind of crazy with some pretty dope news coming up. On the Foot Locker tip, if you plan on cop copying there on release day, there is some information you need to know. If you win a raffle or uh, win a hyped release through the app, you have to pick them up at a certain time depending on the day of the week. If it's the weekend, you have to pick them up by 3 p.m. local time. If it's a weekday, you have till 6 p.m. If you don't make it out by the deadline, you will forfeit your pair. Just imagine wearing a pair of Yeezys or Jordans and missing out because you didn't make it to the deadline. That would suck. The Nike Kobe AD has not launched quite yet, but a new colorway is on the scene. No official name has been given to the shoe just yet, but I imagine Oreo or Taxi or something like that will pop up at some point. The pair rocks the mostly black upper over the mess of material, which really feels like it's a version of that flyweave that Jordan brand uses. White is used as an accent across the branding on the shoe as well as over the outsole. Well, kinda. The oversized heel cup is actually black and the color extends down over the midsole at the rear. As for a release date, everything is pointed to December 16th at the initial price of $160. On the Jordan side of things, Jordan brand is dropping a red sneaker that might be something you can add to your collection. The shoe is the Jordan 13, which from what I hear from folks is one of the most comfortable retros to play in these days. The pair is inspired by Singles Day, which is a Chinese holiday that celebrates people that are, well, single. It's a mix of red leather and red suede on the upper and black accents on the rest of the shoe. They actually have some pretty cool graphics on the medial side of the men's pair that show a basketball and a panda camo inspired graphic. Dame Dollar, aka Damian Lillard, has been on a tear for the start of the NBA season, and Adidas Hoops is keeping him laced in some pretty dope kicks. The next pair you can expect to see grace the courts is the D Lillard 2 Rip City. While Rip City is the nickname for the shoe, they are the prime knit version of the D Lillard 2, which is what Dame has been rocking for most of the season. This pair uses black and white prime knit thread along the upper with speckled laces and is contrasted by sharp red accents. Looks like they are still using that continental rubber on the outsole for traction, which is great. These are expected to drop on 11-12 for $120. Premium is the name of the game when it comes to Jordan brand these days, and if you have had a chance to get up and close and personal with the fours they've dropped recently, you know they are really killing it. Up next is the Air Jordan 12, and the team at the brand is zipping this pair in Game Royal. While I wouldn't exactly use the word luxurious, they do look really nice, and the suede definitely gives them a premium feel. They also have some premium leather on the upper, which is always a good look. These are expected to drop on 11-12, and they're only going to cost you $190. Alright, for the last video, the question was, would you rather have a basketball shoe that looks really ugly but performs absolutely amazing, or would you rather have the best looking basketball shoe but they perform absolutely horrible? This is what Pepe the hate symbol had to say. I would wear an ugly shoe that performs well. As long as it feels good to play in, it's good. Well said. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for a few more of your responses. Alright, today's audience question of the video comes from The Adrian, and the question is, who would you like Nike to do a collab with for the Air Monarchs? Uh, well, there, that would be a hard sell, I think, to sell those regardless of the collaborator, but maybe we could do a Kith Monarch? I don't know. Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for today. If you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening right here on this channel. Shout out to David Has Kicks and uh, Sneakerhead in the Bay for the shirt that I'm wearing today. Appreciate you guys for sending this over. As always, I am Jock Slade. This is Today in Sneaks, and I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. Alright, here are a couple more of your responses. This one is from Ben Jacobs. I would choose the ugly basketball shoes because when I'm playing, I focus on how well people play and not their shoes. This one is from Andrew Yorson. I would rather have a, the best looking but awful performance shoe because I have Kobe 11 BHM, a lot of heat on court but not a performance shoe. And this one is from Awesome Man. Ugly because if it's trash, we will get injured. Well said. Don't want to get hurt. All right, guys. Peace.